Welcome back here to Adelante Chicago. When we think about the Forest Preserve, we usually think of, you know, picnic tables, family gatherings, some walking trails. But did you know that the Forest Preserves of Cook County offer zip lining, kayaking, fishing, and so much more? And here to tell us a little bit more about it is Sofia Vela. She is one of the program directors, program coordinators with the Forest Preserve. She's here to tell us all about the different activities you can enjoy. Uh, at the Forest Preserve throughout Cook County. So it's a big job. You got a lot going on over there. Yes, it, uh, it encompasses a big space. So there's over 70,000 acres of public land that um, is out to be explored. The wild and wonderful, the different ecology that we have, our different landscapes. Mm -hmm. Currently, we have six nature centers wow. all throughout Cook County that are offering summer day camp programming, even night programming, like night walks under the moon. Um, night sky programming. Mm -hmm. Our Little Rut Schoolhouse Nature Center is an urban dark sky place where you can wow. see constellations. So not that far out of the city, you can see um, the Big Dipper and learn about astrology and astronomy. Okay, so a lot uh, going on and this is the perfect time of year to really enjoy it. Uh, as you said, you've got a number of different locations. And I didn't realize, I mean, when we look at zip lining, that's something that they have at the Forest Preserve. Kayaking, aquatic center, so much to it. So let's take them one at a time. Um, I know that they're doing some kayaking um, throughout the Chicago River. Is that part of what you guys are, are putting in place or is that something different? So we do a lot of kayaking on the Des Plaines River. Our central zone team does a lot of kayaking programming. This summer they're doing a teen kayaking program in July. And then we also do canoeing programs as well on smaller bodies of water, on smaller lakes like at Wampum Lake, um, at our big special, special events mm -hmm. like Kids Fest coming up next month. We'll be offering archery, wow. as well as canoeing, mm -hmm. fishing lessons and demonstrations and all things outside adventures. We even have bike rentals and bike riding programs as well. Yeah, people need to start taking advantage of it. Uh, another aspect to this is the aquatic center, which every kid loves. I haven't met a kid who doesn't love aquatic center. So tell me about that. So we have three aquatic centers, our um, CERMAC Family Aquatic Center, has many features. It has a outdoor it's water beautiful. play area. We're looking area. at some of the pictures there. Yeah, it's um, gorgeous. A big water slide, and that's one of three locations. We also have the Green Lake Aquatic Center that is located in South Holland, and it's connected to our Sand Ridge Nature Center campus. So you can start the day at the Aquatic Center if you like, then mosey over to the Nature Center, maybe see some live animals, yeah. go on a hike. There's endless opportunities and all different levels too, which is great. You don't have to be an expert as mm -hmm. well. We have great accessibility programs that start at beginner levels or even adaptable programming as well. Yeah, and it's something that the entire family can do together for years on end, right? Yes. Uh, next up on the list, the Skokie Lagoon, and I don't live too far from this one, so I want to take advantage of it. So tell me what's there. So there's plenty of paddling opportunities with our uh, mobile North Zone team at Skokie Lagoon. If any of you guys love dogs, um, we are having, they are having a Dog Days of Summer program where mm -hmm. you can bring your dog out on one of our canoes out on the water and kind of learn about different opportunities and ways to engage with your pets safely in the Cook County Forest Preserves. And there's plenty of just different paddling programs there, mostly canoeing. We also have four different boat rental locations, and I believe that's one of them. Okay. Uh, as we were talking earlier before the uh, interview, you said that you actually got into sort of environmental science as a kid because you lived near a forest preserve. Explain sort of how important it is to get kids involved at a very young age and what it can lead them to. It's really important to have access to green spaces, even living in the city. I feel very blessed to have um, the Forest Preserve as my backyard. And outside of the many recreational programming opportunities that we offer, mm -hmm. we also do many educational programming opportunities. We have a Mighty Acorns program. That's a stewardship program for elementary students in third, fourth, and fifth grade that brings them out, teaches them about invasive species, how to be stewards to the land, and hopefully is then raising the next, next generation of environmental yeah. stewards. Okay, and you said that after college, you uh, then started working at the Forest Preserve, and now you're on like your fourth role at the Forest Preserve. Yeah. So this has really transformed your life. Personally, yeah, yeah, it has. Um, I get to spend, um, just like this morning, we had an 8 a.m. bird walk program at okay. Eggers Grove. So I started my day off um, in the forest preserves, talking to community members about our local birds. I got to 
see indigo yeah. bunting, which is a migratory bird right now out in our forest preserves. It's beautiful blue. Um, and now I'm here, so <laughs> everything, it's very fast paced. Everything's a different day, but yeah. I wouldn't change it. You got to do a little bit of everything. Okay, the Kids Fest is coming up next month, you said. Yes, when is that, July? At, it is July 9th at Wampum Lake. Mm -hmm. Okay, lots of kids' activities yep. for them to enjoy. The whole family can go. Yeah. We're going to put the website right there. It's on our screen, fpdcc.com. Uh, I imagine that for the Forest Preserve, uh, since it's in Cook County, that it is free to the public? Yes, all of our programming is free, there, except for a few programs that might have low cost, like our aquatic center's fees. I think children entrance is as low as $5 per person. We also offer painting and art programs, so sometimes those programs have low fees of $5 for the supplies, but all of our programming is majority free. Some of it requires registration, so make sure you check our guides and our websites and call prior. Um, to make sure that there's availability because some of our uh, programs get booked. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Sophia, for coming in. No 